Welcome to Hands On with 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 me, Kristen Schiller. I think I'm just about getting the timing of the new theme with the countdown just about right, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, in every episode at 1700, 5 p.m. UTC plus two, I play with some technology, some technology I feel like playing with. And today is no exception. Um, something I actually have a bit of a use case for right now. What is it? It is graphcms.com. One of these many kind of tools, services, frameworks that allows you to take a bunch of content, unify it into some GraphQL magic, and then do something with it. GraphQL is one of those technologies that I always think has a lot of promise, but can sometimes be way more confusing and complicated than it may appear to be. Find out more at graphcms.com if you like what you see. What about me? I am Kristen Schiller. You can find more about me at kristenschiller.com. If you're joining in the chat, and I can see a few of you are, say hi. Um, always nice to hear from you. Leave a comment. If you're watching later, which most of you do, please subscribe. Please again, thumbs up, say hi. Always nice to hear from everybody. But let us begin. Let me just move some windows around. Switch into screen share. Here we go, graphcms.com. Uh, I don't think it's open source. Um, may or may not matter, I don't know, to you. But offers lots and lots of, um, just trying to find, oh, there's a GitHub here actually. Hmm. Let's see. I also get the feeling this might be um, oh, bits of it are open source by the looks of it. There we go. That's sort of expected, I guess. Uh, not the core, but a lot of the tools and things like that. I sort of get the feeling this might be behind this might be some people part of another tool because I don't know, a lot of the tooling looks familiar, but uh, made in Germany, that's probably why. I probably just met them. <laughs> that's possibly why. Um, I don't know off the top of my head now. But anyway, it's graphcms.com. So we'll get started. I have a bit of a use case. I actually, uh, I have a lot of uh, my existing website in Jekyll. Um, and I've had it for so long, it's getting kind of heavy because I have too much content in there, basically. A lot of images, um, so the actual sort of local development folder is getting quite heavy. So I'd love to kind of offset a lot of the content to, to one other place and then kind of uh, pull it from there. Open source would be good. Oh, there is a Jekyll here, so we'll, we'll do that as a use case. But I have a couple of niche use cases with my particular setup as well in that I have a lot of uh, markdown files for, actually, I have it open right here. I'm working on transcripts right now for some old podcasts. Um, so I have a whole bunch of, you probably can't see this, and I'm not gonna zoom in because there's so much of it, uh, markdown files. Some of them are full articles and some of them are stub articles that I actually have a whole bunch of custom gems that uh, pull things together. So I kind of have like actual content and then kind of content that just references content elsewhere on, on different websites. So that's one use case. Then I have a lot of custom content types for, well, I can show you actually. <laughs> My website is something of an interesting mess. So for example, this is a link uh, to an external article. Yep, I don't need to go there. This is also a link to another article. Most of them are, web videos, et cetera, et cetera. I actually have an article I'm about to publish tomorrow that is a full article. But then there's also events, which are custom content types that just present in a list and they don't go anywhere. Uh, work is another kind of one. I have a whole bunch of client content types that just present in a list. So I have a whole set of different ways I want to present things. So I'm gonna see if I can use GraphCMS for something like that. Uh, let's have a quick dig into the pricing out of interest. I'd also rather not have to recreate everything. Free forever. Great, that's exactly what I'm looking for. 
because the next step up looks kind of expensive. But I think I'm fine on, on the free tier here, to be honest with you. Uh, I was also just interested to see developers, documentation, uh, UI extensions. So it's quite similar to Contentful, which uh, I have looked at in a previous video. So I'll make sure we reference that just in sort of graph QL goodness, I suppose. Um, let's get started then. Let's just jump in. Uh, uh. Waity, waity, wait. All right, let's sign up with GitHub. Probably the easier way. Please agree. Oh, it's tiny. Sorry, I'll zoom in a bit. I couldn't even read that. <laughs> so, so I doubt you can. Uh, authorize. Bang. Redirected. Let's make a bit, make myself a bit more comfortable. Start the tour. Skip to overview. Kind of sounds similar to me, but let's start the tour. I guess. Define my schema. Yep, this is all pretty similar so far. Start the tour, isn't that what I just did? I'll oh, continue. Oh. Okay, manage your content. Yeah, this is all quite similar to Contentful. So I also have to say I did actually work for Contentful for a while as well and get the GraphQL API. Great, well, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, so podcast, travel site, marketing website. Create a blank project. Let's start with... Um, blog, I guess. I wouldn't mind jumping into some documentation as well. It's always nice to have what it kind of looks like. Uh, maybe we'll go to here. I think that's that's exactly the same place. Okay, uh, user guides, maybe. Start there. I get kind of the impression that I sh doesn't, there isn't really getting started guide. It's just Kind of jump in. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll use the documentation when we need it. All right, so first, let's let's use a blog. I'm guessing I can add other content types afterwards. So let's do that. About the starter. Mm. Oh, I see. So this is going to build a whole stack. Okay. I'm not opposed to switching my website to out, out of Jekyll, if, if it works. But let's go through this for now and then we'll start from scratch maybe. So create a project, I guess. Name, all right. Chinch test, include template content. Sure, why not? And we get data centers in various places. All right, good. Region is, a oh, we have to pick it. Oh, okay, well, Europe then. I like these dots that don't really match anything. But anyway, <laughs> create, hang on, we're creating a project. Okay, 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 all right, fine. Whilst we're waiting, let me see if my automated tweet works this time. Uh, 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 let's see, oops, uh, I think I just did something. I seem to have just crashed my uh, Twitter program. So, <laughs> uh, oh, no, here we go. Um, oops, what did I just do? Ah, I'm opening random tweets. Ah, okay. Uh, it looked like it failed again. That's a shame. All right, anyway. Um, select the plan. Yes, that looks good to me. I think that's fine. Because it always fails, as far as I can tell. Invite your team members. No, I'm good. Don't really have any. For my personal website. Set up a schema, create your content. Good. Um, where the zoom level keeps constantly resetting. Set up schema is already done for us, I suppose. Create content. I mean, it'd be nice if I could import. Let's see, that would be good. Uh, let's pop that out into a new window. And pop it over there. And pop that over there. Ooh, hello. Uh, doesn't like that. Okay. All right, fine. <laughs> okay, it just doesn't like that size. All right, it's a bit weird, but okay. Um, can we import content? Duplicating, deleting, localization. Hmm. I don't really see a way to import, but or migrating maybe. Um. 
Look at your existing data, export to the format as JSON or CSV. Not ideal, but all right. Well, I'll worry about that later, maybe. <laughs> Not something that we need to worry about too much in this uh, example. Oh, God, it does not like. Maybe it's just Safari it doesn't like. Let's say fair enough. Um, author, pages, posts. So content is there already. Okay, let's have a quick look at what the um, content creation interface is like. All right, so I guess this is all the custom content. Excerpt, cover image, SEO, content, content. Uh, okay, author, tags, published, no versions with my current plan. All right, this all seems pretty reasonable. It's odd that, oh, uh, okay. It's funny because this is sort of marked off as not done, but it is, I don't know. Uh, SEO stuff, so, okay, good. Uh, asset system, okay. Ah, we've already done all this and it's tick two, three, four, okay, all right. Um, all right, well, I guess I'm done. I don't know. <laughs> Let's create another one just out of interest. Let's create another post. I don't know, why not? Uh, hey there, can we have emojis? Hey, slug. Hey there. The date today, I suppose. Please enter a value. I have to type it. Is that not? Oh, whoops, it does. Just a bit today. There we go. Excerpt. I used to have some kind of lorem ipsum generator, but I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Add an existing cover image. Existing cover image. Oh, I don't have an existing, but okay. Well, let's. All right. That, that, that guy looks fun. Uh, oh, I want to uh, link. Maybe? Ah, okay. All right. Content. Woo. Can I use Markdown? Um, no. Which is interesting. That I can't just switch to Markdown because I kind of want to. Anyway, tags. All right. Tag, tag. Did that create one or two? Uh, two, I guess, tag tag, maybe, no, hmm. all right, author, add an existing author, sure, you'll do, all right, save and publish, content, okay, great, that's just what I wanted, okay, so, uh, let's go back, and this is, is this a keyboard shortcut, I guess, M, I don't know, that's gonna, that's gonna minimize my window. I don't know if I wanna press that. <laughs> Schema, content, assets, API playground. All right, make your API accessible. Open up your API to the public. Um, so have I, have I done that? Um, I think so. I think I've done that. I don't know. A bit unclear, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. Okay, learn how to fetch content. All right, great. Well, this is just a playground. All right, fine. Um, now what? Um, now what do I do? Uh, I was kind of following that tutorial, which... Quick start, maybe? Maybe that's what I should be on? No. Sort of started down a path that now, I think it was this one. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. Um, I don't know. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do now. I kind of came to this um, via this sort of tutorial, and now I'm kind of stuck as what I'm supposed to do next. So the examples page maybe? Oh, it just takes me back here, okay. Um, I think I followed the Gatsby one. Which one? I don't know. 
Which one did I follow? Uh, I mean, I guess I could just click backwards a lot <laughs> or get started and see what happens again. I followed, here we go. Maybe I should have opened those links as I went. Well, I don't know, I shouldn't really have to, but maybe I should have. Um, so I did this one, didn't I? So live demo GitHub repo. GitHub repo, deploy your own might also be useful, I suppose. Okay, and now let's get back to um, quick start, create a new project, provide the, all right, so I guess this is what we want to do. Let me, oh, of course, I really wish Mac OS wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's, there we go. Workspace. Oh, I need Gatsby installed. Ah. Okay. Dependencies, dependencies, dependencies. Um, okay, I guess I probably want that globally. Uh, da, da, da. Wait, I get a feeling that might take a little bit of time. If anyone is joining in chat, and I can feel I've been joined by a feel, see, I've been joined by a few more. Say hi, this is me. Hello. Say hello, I'm reasonably friendly. Uh, in the meantime, NPM is still doing its thing, of course. High severity vulnerabilities. All right, fine. It's not really grass MS's fault, I suppose. Um, okay, cloning into that. I guess I should, yeah, well, I suppose that's all coming. This is also taking a while. <laughs> oh, node projects, I love you. Um, in the meantime, let me just check what happened to that tweet. I'm trying to get people to join me on Twitch through Twitter, but the automated tweets seems to fail a lot because Twitter. Uh, no, it didn't fail, but well, <laughs> it didn't seem to go out either. <laughs> That's a pain. Oh, wow. This is a hefty, hefty. Oh, no, here it is. It went out seven minutes ago. So people are joining me a bit late, but anyway, <laughs> uh, this is a hefty, hefty package. <sighs> okay, let's get um, these open in the meantime. Yes. Oh, that's in there. So we want it from here, I suppose. Project settings UI. Settings UI. I don't see anything called the project settings UI, but I'm guessing it's these ones here. Okay. Still going? Still installing? Oh, NPM projects. Hmm. Babel. There's events. GraphQL import. Chokida. I like the sound of that. Um, pom, pom, pom. I have a quick click around whilst we're here. Environments, this is one of those interesting things. So we can create different, but we only get one in this plan. So that's not massively useful. Uh, integration points. Yeah, they're all roughly expected, I guess. Content stages, draft and published. Okay. Locals, we can add some locales, great. Building UI extensions, this is, yeah, this is also a concept that Contentful has. We can add bits to the UI here. Um, I don't know, I've killed enough time. Nope, still going. <laughs> okay. Uh, assets, this is always useful. This is one issue I especially have filling up my local with um, lots and lots of assets. Webhooks, do not have any webhooks, create, create one. Okay, what do they do, I don't know. Settings, I think we just looked at. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, okay, all right. Oh, whoops, no. I want to change directory. I don't want to do that, Gatsby. I want to do something else first. Copy that, all right. Okay. 
Um, and let's get those. So let's open up. Um, I got a bad, oops, bad feeling if I do this right now. Things will just jump into my other Visual Studio Code window. So let's open them up here. And I will zoom in a little. Although we're not going to be doing too much right now. Let's just zoom in a bit. So the env file, we need the GraphCMS endpoint. Um, I'm guessing that's the content API, I would expect, I think. I guess it is. I can't think what else it would be. Hopefully, we will soon find out. Um, and the GraphCMS token. Yes, there are a lot of tokens. Auth token, prod auth token, dev auth token, preview token. Which token? Hmm. Let's have another read. Um, I don't know. Um, I guess the prod auth token? I don't know, but I feel like that's, this tutorial needs some updating because I don't know. Whoa, hello. They're pretty long. And then I assume I can just do this. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I've got a bad feeling this is also going to take a while. I've done previous videos with, uh oh, what's that? I'm seeing an error, but I've done previous videos with uh, Tailwind and that also took a long time. I found out this error. Uh, validate my Gatsby config. Okay. Oh. Doing stuff, doing stuff, doing lots of stuff. Mm, errors. All right. Well, that got me a long way. Um, not seeing any errors here, so I don't know what to do. Um, hmm. Seeing lots of maybe I can just delete that folder. <laughs> I don't know if that's a new folder or an old folder. I, I don't think it came in. I don't know. Let's try again, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I always try with Jekyll. Ruby's a bit simpler. <laughs> maybe. Let's see. All right. Drum roll, please. I do actually have... Um, Hang on. I haven't got it set up properly though, I don't think. Let me see. Uh, let's see. No, I don't have it set up properly though. <laughs> I do actually have a little soundboard here, but I keep forgetting to connect things up properly. All right, well, that still didn't work. Um, hmm. If you're trying to use a package, make sure the Gatsby thing is installed. Well, that's disappointing. I can't even get out the gate. Hmm. Maybe we can try searching for this. It would be nice to finish. <laughs> it's not the first time I've hit on show-stopping errors in uh, hands-on before, but oh, here we go. We're seeing at least some common messages. Have you tried deleting the node modules folder? Uh, mm. Okay, well, it's closed, but I'm seeing lots of discussion. Should we just go to the bottom? <laughs> Like someone just closed it at a certain point. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a look at this one. Okay. 
It's like one of these issues where it got closed, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, hmm. This invariably seems to be the case that. I don't know what to do. Let's maybe. Yeah, let's just. Disappointing. Disappointing. Good old Node World. Start again. Delete things. Start again. Turn it off. Turn it on again. Ah. Oh, that's weird. Wonder why. Okay. Ah, that was obviously run earlier, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Fingers crossed this time. It would be nice to get beyond this path. Failing that, I will look at. Let's. I wouldn't let, let me get the Jekyll one. It's probably going to be simple. Uh, where was it? We saw it down the bottom somewhere. Static sites. Jekyll. Find out more. Well, that's. Not helpful. <laughs> um, okay, great. Um, I really hope we get this. I'm not, I'm not taken with this so far. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Um, sure, I mean, I can connect to an API, but then what? That doesn't really simplify things very much. It's nice to have these uh, plugins that kind of do something. Um, and I've hit a quick start and it doesn't work. So I guess this is the same one. Uh, I'm not really sure. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Uh, Grass CMS blog. Mm. Those examples here again. Grass. I mean, it's the one that literally I've presented with as soon as I signed up. So you would hope it would work, but. I think this takes me to the same thing again. But this is slightly different, so maybe maybe the solution is to try a different project. It's no more recent. It's got more views. Maybe we'll start this in the meantime. And I want to, uh, it would be nice to do something. Let's, yeah, let's just try a different one. Sure. Never heard of it, but sure. Dig it. it. Sounds a bit odd. All right, great. Um, npm install. Oh, we can just do yarn. Let's do yarn. Yarn seems to be what all the cool kids want these days. Yarn. Oh, what's happening over here? So that did something. So let's try it over here as well. I'm guessing I can have two different running yarn in two different places. That's doing something. That's doing something. <laughs> Wanna see my dummy content? Wanna see my dummy content? Uh, this looks like I'm gonna have the same errors, I think. What's going on over here? Stuff. Dun, da, da. Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. 
Good old in the NPM project. No, nope, same error. All right, well, we'll give up on that one. Let's hope this one gives us luck. It would be nice to, whilst we're actually doing that, I wonder if there is a Jekyll one. I get the feeling it's all going to be, yeah, it's all JavaScript world. All JavaScript world, yeah. All right, something happened. So which one were we doing? This one, yarn dev, fingers crossed. We get somewhere. Otherwise it's gonna be a short stream today, <laughs> which is okay. All right. Oh, I saw errors, but different errors. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. But I haven't given any um, any tokens, which, uh, I haven't given any tokens, which bothers me. Surely I need to give some kind of access token. Um, not quite sure what's going on there. Let's open it up in the meantime. Uh, yep. There is no end file, so I don't know how it knows who I am. Uh, so read me. No, it's the same. Um, it's like it's a public, so it's not going to be my content. But I guess I could change it, but something has failed here. What was the error? Um, cannot query field graphs against product. Okay, don't know if we can click that and see what happens. There's something there. Um, what was it trying to do? So we can do a search. <laughs> not, I was kind of hoping to not have to do debug, but so I guess it's this one. So we can try this query here. See what we get. Run it. I'm already seeing red lines. It's not defined. Hmm. This is not going very well. Don't know. I'm not seeing much else to do, uh, which is disappointing. Um. MDX I quite like, actually use it elsewhere. Um, I think this is the one we were trying. Yep. Have a look at the issues. Grassiness plus Swift. Don't think that's anything <laughs> to do with it. Um, pull requests, update dependencies. No idea. Although this looks different with Golang. No, 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 no. Well, frankly then, I guess we have to give up. That was <laughs> unfortunate. It didn't actually get anywhere. Didn't even get to the basics. So unless I'm really missing something, which is possible. <laughs> uh, I mean, great, but I've got no front end at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what this would do. Who's this gonna? It's gonna have to trigger a build. I still need something, I think. Um, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> what, what? I feel like it doesn't it need something to build. Oh, so it's a really static site. So yeah. I don't know. Disappointing. I don't know what else to do. Um, this is all. Yeah, that's that. I mean. 
there's so much we could have looked at, but if I can't even get past the basics, then I don't really know what else to do. Can it get to be cloud? I mean, it could work, I suppose. I never use Gatsby Cloud, but. Live demo. Let's have a look. <laughs> what was it supposed to look like? Uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> this is disappointing. I hate it when uh, things end up like this. Uh, deploy your own. I don't think that's going to really help us. Uh, that's exactly where we got to. Yeah. Don't see any issues. So yeah, I guess that's that's just done. Um, disappointing. All right. Well, summary. Graph CMS. Does it deliver? Not really. I mean, we can do the basics. We can go in and create content in a very nice back end, but then what? Um, then we're kind of stuck. So I don't really know if I can say something works if I can't actually get to the point where I can render the content. I mean, we could try another one. I don't know. I hate... Um, leaving things so unresolved. Um, yeah, I just found another quick start, but it all just shows you it in the GraphQL. I mean, obviously with GraphQL, I could go and do a myriad of things, but the point remains to me is there is a tutorial here that I follow and it doesn't work, which doesn't really fill me with confidence. So does it deliver? Maybe. Um, doesn't fill me with confidence though. That's the problem. Um, I mean, I've got a lot of things here like where I click and I just get redirected to a different website. So if I wanted to migrate from Jekyll, I'm, I'm not finding very much. Uh, even I'm guessing even from Gatsby, I get redirected. Uh, yep, I get redirected. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointing to be honest with you. I kind of like these sorts of tools. I wanted to give it a go, but if I can't get it working, then I don't know. I'm not really going to use it. <laughs> I guess is the answer to that. So yeah, that was, uh, I haven't had a complete failure of a hands-on for some time. Probably not since Flutter, which actually came back into the second video. Um, I mean, there's plenty of other options in this space, so I guess that's just it. Well, um, I won't say necessarily enjoyed this video because we didn't really get anywhere, but if you enjoyed it with me, if you watched along, if you were intrigued and want to go and experiment with GraphCMS yourself and figure it out, then leave a comment in the, in the comments, unsurprisingly. Yep, um, please subscribe on Twitch or YouTube wherever you found this. Give a thumbs up or a thumbs down and probably in the case of this video. It's not, maybe not my fault, I don't know. Say hi. Find out more at christianchiller.com for my other videos and content as well. And uh, yeah, I hate to leave so unsatisfied, but that was Hands On with me, Christian Schiller. I will be back next week with, I do have it already figured out, I'll be back with Docusaurus, actually something similar, the other end of the pipe, Docusaurus, but I know Docusaurus works. I've, I've used it myself before, but it felt like a good one to finally dig in with. So I have been Christian Schiller. Thank you very much for joining me. And this was Hands On with Graph CMS, which gets a bit of a sad face. That's not very much of a sad face, but a bit of a sad face from me. So I'll see you next week. Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs>